If you have ever wondered how high a pilot is taking the plane you're on, wonder no more. Planes are usually flying in the stratosphere, which is the second major layer of the Earth's atmosphere. The reasons why they do this are very practical and not that difficult to understand, as you will learn today. Hello and welcome to another aircraft compare question and answer video. In this series, I am answering your questions and trying to explain them in a way anyone can understand. The question I am answering today is... Why do airplanes fly in the stratosphere? There are, of course, very practical reasons for planes to fly in the stratosphere. In addition to less turbulence, this layer of the atmosphere allows for much better fuel economy. This is because in higher altitudes, such as those found in the stratosphere, there is less air resistance. The air resistance in the stratosphere is about half of that on the ground, which means the plane can hold airspeed at lower power and not as much fuel is used. Lower power settings always equal better fuel efficiency, which is important to all airline companies. As a general rule, fuel economy gets better with higher altitudes, so stratosphere flying can save the airlines a lot of money. When planes fly into thin air, such as that found in the stratosphere, less air enters the engine and less fuel is required to fly the plane, allowing for both lower fuel costs and a more efficiently run engine in the long run. So why does flying in the stratosphere reduce turbulence? Turbulence is caused by many things, but it is often the result of bad weather. Pilots usually try to avoid the areas with the most turbulence. Since most bad weather occurs below the stratosphere, this is one of the reasons why pilots fly in the stratosphere layer of the atmosphere. But there are exceptions to this rule. If there is a really strong thunderstorm, it can poke through the stratosphere. In these instances, pilots usually try to fly around the storm. Turbulence can also be caused by something called clear air turbulence, which occurs when a strong jet stream is found between mixing regions. More often than not, there is little to no bad weather found in the stratosphere, which results in smooth flying for most aircraft. Less turbulence is valuable for many reasons, and this is why flying in the stratosphere is the rule for most aircraft. As you can imagine, most pilots want to fly as fast as possible while they're in the air, and this is what stratosphere flying offers them. There is less air friction and an increase in the true airspeed of the airplane, which results in a higher flying speed. Naturally, not all aircraft fly in the stratosphere. Some military aircraft, as well as many commercial and sport aircraft, fly in the troposphere, which is one layer under the stratosphere. In this layer, there is low resistance and good lift capacity, which results in a smoother overall flight. The higher you go in the atmosphere, the thinner the air becomes, and this type of air can directly affect the smoothness of the flight, not to mention its speed and overall efficiency. So, to recap, the main reasons airplanes fly in the stratosphere is because this is where the least amount of turbulence is found. There are few clouds in this layer, making for a much smoother ride overall. Because the air in the stratosphere is thinner, the plane's jet engines run more efficiently and use less fuel. Also, the plane is able to avoid bad weather and travel faster. And if you like this video as much as I like making it, give it a like and share it with a friend. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.